Uh, good evening. I'll call the East China Charter Township Board meeting uh, November 21st, 2022 to order, please. Uh, you pledge a uh, roll call, please. Supervisor Westbrook? Here. Here. Trustee Rabel? Here. Trustee Blackstone? Here. Trustee Knapp? Yes. Trustee Richley? Here. to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, comments, questions on the agenda? Sir. <laughs> <laughs> I like those, that look. Oh. <laughs> Any comments or questions on the agenda? Oh, township questions on the agenda. <laughs> no, not for me. Do we have? I'll any? make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Is there support? Support. Mr. Knotts. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Minutes. Uh, minutes from last meeting. Questions, comments. Wasn't here. Motion to. Motion to approve the minutes as presented. Mrs. Richley. Ms. Babel. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Presentations, guest speakers, none. Public comment. I see nobody. Consent agenda. Uh, financial reports. Uh, number two is historical commission minutes. And three is Sinclair Area Fire Authority October run report. Comments, questions? Support. Mr. Richley. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Disbursements. Ms. Hart. Oh. <laughs> Payroll $31,370.37. Counts payable is $103,200.50. EFT 760 is $11,582.91. E checks. $302.30. Tax is uh, $76,253.54. Invoice is $191,047.48. We have a grand total of $413,757.10. Questions or comments on the disbursements? I'll make a motion to approve the disbursements in the amount of $413,757.10. Mr. Uh, Richley. I support. Stable. Clerk, please call roll. All in favor. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Trustee Knapp? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Trustee Yes. Yes. Motion's carried. Disbursements paid. Unfinished old business. I have none here. Anybody? New business. The 2023 budget public hearing is now open for comments or questions. Copy of the budget is attached. The millage rate 4.4208, which is a slight decrease from last year, 1.48%. Uh, brings the. I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay, Mr. Richley doesn't like it. <laughs> no, Mr. Well, I don't know if Mr. Richley likes it or not. I know Mr. Knotts doesn't like it. How's that? Uh, uh, anybody care to elaborate further, Mr. Knotts? No? All right. <laughs> Mr. Richley? I'm good. I'm good. Mr. Blackstock? Um, nothing, just some clarifications on the park budget. I don't know if you want to bring this up now. Sure. So... At the last budget workshop, we didn't really discuss or finish discussing. There wasn't a lot of elaboration. Right. Um, there was discussion, if anybody cares to hear, what the parks discussed. So it's apparent that they're only going to get $200,000. As it's written right now, that's what the plan is. We have never received, or they have never received, a copy of whatever the plan is to assume their employee into the township. So is that plan... Available? Is there? Yes, I believe. It's not part of the budget. Yeah, that wasn't part of the budget, but it, but that was part of the offer. I think when uh, Ms. Blackstock requested that information, she was out of town for the week. So. Well, point of clarification: the, the discussion was to open the dialogue. There was no proposal. There were no numbers. There was just a general discussion as to 
how we could maybe move in a different direction. But it doesn't affect the budget adoption that the supervisors present. Okay. As far as but, the but I to answer your question, is that discussion still open? Well, I responded, but I don't think you um, yeah. received the email. Um, I take direction from the board. Right. I believe that that option is still open. Okay. Um, it needs to be discussed. So the budget shortfall that they now have for next year, we're, we're going to resolve that somehow? At this point, we have to see where they're going to land at the end of the year to see what they do have for, uh, uh, not carryover, what do you call it? Uh, fund balance, right? Thank okay. you. And then... Uh, at that time, they'll have to evaluate it, but that money can come out if they want to do that option that they talked about. But it was a, a dialogue that was started and it never was finished. Okay. Well, there's dialogue during the meeting. They have some cost cut measures mm -hmm. that they can do. They realize that not much will be done in the parks next year. So mm -hmm. we can get that number down, or they can get that number down in the discussion that they had. Okay. So, but there needs to be some dialogue, I guess, in terms of that rather large line item for the employee yeah and you're kind of the liaison for that it, i mean i'd really like to have you kind of work with that too if we can well we've been working and, um, and some of the concerns are one from the board the Parks commission is that if the money's available somewhere why isn't the money available just in parks it all comes from general fund so if there's money available for that employee's salary the question is, is why can't it just be allocated to parks? Well, I think that was a, uh, uh, I don't really know the financing behind that. All I do know is an effort to help with getting grants because we have other people work on the grants in the offices and other facilities. You know, how we, we're doing lots of different grants all the time with mm -hmm. PC and everything. By doing that and getting her in the loop, that would help well, I can that off. Clarify the, the financial question. There is not money in this budget at this that's not where the money comes from. Right. right. In, the, in the budget right now, there's, there's something set aside for that, but we're, we'd have to find it. That's what we're looking at. Okay. So the plan really isn't a plan that we don't have money. No, we don't have a plan. It was, okay. a, a, it was a request to open the dialogue, okay. to discuss a plan. And mm -hmm. there were some ideas that I wanted to share. The meeting got cut short, got a little sidetracked. And then we started the workshop, which didn't allow us to continue that dialogue at that time. Okay. But if, if you could help with that, I would really appreciate that. You know, we make it We've so been you can work on it. that. It's just that yeah. I guess they were under the impression they were going to get some type of information about the plan. And that was never... I think they needed it that Wednesday for their meeting or something, but she was out of town, so there was nothing no, no, further. Again, that again, well, you never got to that point. To open the dialogue right. to, okay. to see if that would even be something that the commission would entertain, okay. and that would be what was on the table. Okay. Thank you. On this table, anything? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and close the public hearing then. I make a move and we close the public hearing on the budget for 2023. Support. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Well, adoption of the 2023 budget the millage. Clerk Mate.
water fund, DPW fund, and sewer fund using a cost center approach in accordance with the Uniform Budgeting and Accounting Act, PA 621, 1978. And whereas pursuant to MCL 42.26 notice of a public hearing on the proposed budget was published in a newspaper of general cir circulation on November 10, 2022. And the public hearing on the proposed budgets was held in the East China Charter Township Hall at 7.30 p.m. on November 21st, 2022. Whereas estimated Township General Fund revenues for fiscal year 2022, including an allocated millage of 4.4208 mills and various miscellaneous revenues shall total 2,257,844. And whereas the East China Charter Township Board of Trustees is authorized to levy and collect general property taxes on all real and personal property within the township upon the current tax rolls up to five mills for general operations and up to the amount necessary to service bonds voted by the electorate. Now therefore be it resolved that the above recommended 2022 general fund capital projects fund, debt service funds, building inspection fund, water fund, and sewer funds be adopted in compliance with the State of Michigan Public Act 621 of 1970, which amends PA 2 of 1968 entitled Uniform Budgeting and Accounting Act. It's part of that that I just read. Now, there's going to be a result. There are two dates that are wrong. Yes. The, the above recommended 2023 General Fund Capital Project. It, it appears in two, pla uh, two places. Correct. Actually, three. And now, <laughs> right, I got the first one. We got them. The first one, we missed that one. Okay. And There's more to it. You got the page. Go. We have further resolved that the East China Charter Township levies the following millages for the 2023 fiscal year. East China Township Operating, 2.9088. Capital Projects, 1.3500. 2013 A Capital Improvement Bonds, 0 0.0870. 2013B Capital Improvement Bonds, 0 0.0750. Township. Total Township Levy, 4.4208. And move for adoption of the appointment. Two things that you said on there, I, I'm not sure. You added the DPW fund to the title? Correct. Okay, Correct. and I do believe in that case, they probably need to be added to the last paragraph on the first page. They were DPW. Or it lists them all again. Yeah. So they'll be in three spots then, right, Sandy? Correct. Top, middle, bottom. Okay. Thank you, Ralph. Okay, Mr. Rexley made a motion, is that correct? <coughs> oh, no. no. Oh, sorry. The clerk did. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just so used to making those motions. <laughs> so. you need a second? Yes. Support. <laughs> That's what I meant. Mr. Rexley had a support to that. Any more comments or questions? Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Knox? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Trustee Tega, Supervisor Richter? Yes. Budget adopted. Uh, new business three, the old DPW Headworks building down at the DPW facility has been dem dem demolished. Uh, all cleanup has been done. Uh, there was a couple of things that came in uh, that were unexpected we didn't know about. Uh, well, the, the permit was never part of the project, but the building inspector kind of made sure we wanted to have it. Yeah, I, sometimes they waive them. Uh, they didn't, so uh, we had to pay for an electrical permit to do so. And uh, the building permit's in here, and the paperwork and some stuff for the asbestos abatement and uh, removal. This is, a, this is the first first change order that Mr. D.P. Schweighoffer excavating submitted for 1350. And then the second one was we uh, we thought it was a slab on grade that was the offices back there. Uh, when he demolished the slab, it was actually like a big crawl space, whatever, big hole underneath it, and there was concrete beams going across it. Uh, that had to be demolished. That's the $860. The 2784 is the additional sand compacted, hauled in, compacted in place. Um, 
so that one was 4191 the total between the, the two of them to, to finish the job was five thousand five hundred forty one dollars so that we had a little bit extra on there still well below what we thought it would be I think the whole project was about fifty thousand and we budgeted many years ago it was gonna be a hundred so we got it done for about fifty which is good so I make a motion that we approve additional work Fine. to close out the deep DPW Edwards demolition to DPW Schweighoffer excavating in the amount of five thousand five hundred and forty one dollars. Mr. Knotts and Clerk Matei's support. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Trustee Knotts? Yes. Trustee Ridgely? Yes. Trustee Babel? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Clerk Matei? Yes. Supervisor Oster? Yes. Okay, number four, Township Hall window replacement bid. We solicited some bids. Uh, we got four bids. I never got the one in writing, but the fourth one was uh, $17,200, just FYI. Uh, it's not in here. The other three bids are in here. Uh, talk to uh, all of them about what they're going to do. It's going to be at a insulated uh, thermal break on the frames and the windows themselves are one inch uh, insulated glass one inch air break in it and they're bronze annealed uh, there'll be all all the removal of these windows and replacement installed uh, the low bid was Mount Clemens glass for eleven thousand nine hundred seventy one dollars and I did talk to Dave there about everything to went over it with him um, but it, uh, actually all but one of the contractors did mention that how the brick is above these windows that it kind of steps out as it goes up if you notice and at the top they noticed they when they went up and looked that the top of that brick uh it's got cracks in it and he they they think that the water is leaking in from that so i asked them to get to give us a rough price for that and they were all about the same for metal flashings up there and everything else he said around 2000 they'd have to look at it so i'd like to put that in there up to an amount so if you take 11 9 to 71 which is 12 so just say if we can approve this low bid up to fourteen thousand dollars to do it all uh, they said that a little bit of tuck putting needs to be done but he doesn't do it so we can get with the dpw or something and try to arrange that but we need to cap the top of those we got to take a look at it and so blaine was going to check it out with you too we need a flashing up there and cocked in and create the additional cost would be for metal flashings. metal flashings and stuff right so um the yeah the windows will be cocked in their price and but the caulking on the flashing yes that's correct so, so this is a, did we approve this uh, i we budgeted for this i remember fighting this problem this before that's what we have the money in the budget for this particular project, right? Yeah, and as a matter of fact, Dave said, I bid this three years ago. <laughs> We've been talking about it for a long time. Yeah, so I said, well, would you re please rebid it? I'm sure it's not the same price unless you want to hold your price. Yeah. And he said he would not. Right. But anyway, so I guess it's the same guy that was supposedly going to do it. But do it not to exceed the 14. So are there any comments or questions about it? So which are you recommending then? Mount Clemens glass. Up to fourteen thousand. Or just yeah, yeah, that's fine. It, it, I mean, it'll be whatever it'll be, but I don't, I don't really know exactly what it is. Well, if you approve like enough to exceed, then you'd only have to come back if you exceed it. Exactly, that's what I'm asking for. I think if we go for fourteen thousand, have plenty of money to do it all. Plus, we might drop two windows at the back over here that uh, we might someday put an addition on. But Cindy wants them to open for her until we can get the balance on the HVA system in here. So, where so the you know the two on the east over there by your parking spot. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna hold off on those two. Oh. oh. Okay. Those are newer windows back there anyway. Right. Right. But that they're leaking a little bit though already. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you make a proposal, Mr. What's that wrong? Let well, me make a motion. What are you talking about? Why don't you make a motion? Well, I just wanted to design our questions first. Oh, okay. No questions for me. No? Let's make a motion to approve up to 14000 for window replacement with Mount Clemens Glass. Second. 
That's coordinated with the DPW and the supervisor. Support. Questions? Did you make that motion? Who made the motion? I did. You realize that it was no, really good. Yeah. <laughs> Clerk, please call the roll. Roll call vote. Trustee Ridgely? Yes. Trustee Knott? Yes. Trustee Blackstock? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Yes. Clerk McKay, yes. Supervisor Electric? Yes. New Business 5, meeting dates for 2023. <clears throat> I have a question on that. I think there's a, on for August, both of those days are Tuesdays. That's why I appreciate anyone looking over a right. phone here. Right. Well, this is happening for the last year. <clears throat> so that would be changed to the 7th and the 21st. August 7th and August 25th? Okay, 21. Thank you, Ms. Babel. Anything else? Anything else look all right? I never looked at them. We good? Who has any questions? I'd entertain a motion to approve the dates for 2023. So moved. Mr. Blackstock, support Ms. Babel. Clerk, please call the roll. Or not, sorry. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Do business six fire run request for wave of charges, and this was um, Nicole had been dealing with this. You all get a chance to read it. You know, when we approve, we would not charge residents for these runs anymore, and I've opened Pandora's box. I don't know Mr. I don't know Mr. Uh, Bark from anybody else, but uh, he's figured out a way to get a daily living assistance at his own at our expense. That's exactly what it is. Keep it to two a piece, which was quite generous. A thousand bucks times how many residents we got. That was the reason for that to keep people from figuring out. <laughs> that you just keep calling and the township will pick up the bill. Uh, anyway, you. we've already passed that. We may want to consider that some later date. But what about these ones that he's already got charged? Yeah, these are the previous ones. And I, I guess, I don't see, is there a recommendation here from anybody? I recommend that we take and that we talk to the lawyer. It's that we have a provision in our, in our uh, township ordinances that you take up the court. They don't pay it. Uh, I, the, the question is, does they have any assets to pay the job? We don't know that. He's paying rent. He's getting food. I know he's probably drawing Social Security. I don't know if he's got any other assets. The judge would find that out. The judge tells us he doesn't have any assets. Then I guess we can write it off as an uncollectible debt. But I, my point is, if you don't attempt to enforce the Ordinances you have, you cannot enforce them at all. I, I agree with you, Mr. Knotts. I think it's uh, this is like very excessive. We're talking fifteen thousand and and thirty two from twenty twenty two. It's all of eighteen thousand dollars. I mean, it's it's why our bill is so high this year with St. Clair Area Fire Authority. And as he has made obviously, we've brought this up to his attention and gotten a number a letter. What, six months ago we had a similar question about this little bit smaller amount. Same guy. Mm -hmm. He's obviously made no attempt whatsoever to right. solve the situation. <laughs> the rest of them, right up to the date that we passed the ordinance, is one every almost every day, sometimes yeah. two a day. So, so he's, um, he's made no, no effort to try to get some assistance. Yeah, right Other here. Good old township. Yeah. And he even has a social worker, because it says on this back, this one page, that there is a kind of social worker, so why aren't they? Being able to help pick up, I agree. You know, accommodations. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anybody we can so officially notify that this man, that in, in, by his own admission, is not uh, capable of living alone, I mean, living without assistance? Mm -hmm. Is there any way we, someone we can notify the, in the uh, county that, that, well, that they need to look is, into this? Maybe perhaps the social worker. Or his doctor. I don't know. Or his doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Make a recommendation. 
Okay. Does anybody else have any comments? If we're not going to waive the fees, I would suggest we send a letter back to him explaining that why we're not waiving the fees and that perhaps he might be able to consult his social worker to make appropriate accommodations for the services needed. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're getting into a whole can of worms here with this, but like you're saying, our service runs, our cost to the township is it's, going it's up, a lot. up, 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 because cool. we're it's a lot. Kind of excessive. I still recommend, however, that we pursue this one legally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will. We'll establish a precedent that we will, in fact, enforce our ordinance, or at least attempt to. So, is that a motion then? I'll make it one if you want to, but I, I don't, I'm not doing it. Well, the last time it was made that just, it was. Just, some people may just want to reach in their pocket and pay for it. Right. I'm, I'm just somewhat against that. Well, the last one was made, moved to deny it, so I guess either approve it or deny it. So whichever way someone's leaning, whatever they want to do. Yeah, I think what the clerk says about contacting social teams, <laughs> look at somebody, they can look at this. So pursue situation. collection and, and, and also notify that, you know. His own handwriting, he says he can't handle it. No. Yeah. So what's everyone want to do? We've already had a mm -hmm. resolute uh, business yeah, yeah. a motion in a previous meeting where we denied uh, the waiver. Uh, I think we should follow up on the denial in accordance with our ordinance. That's a motion then. Yes. Okay. Is there support to that? Yeah. I support. Mr. Pable, been moved and supported. All those in favor, say aye. Nice. I'm opposed. Seven, establish non township employee deputy compensation. You uh, want to address this, Sandy? You know more about it than I do. Is that me? It's been many, many years since we've had a deputy that was not a township employee. Um, and we need to establish something for someone other than township employees to, to um, back up as a deputy for the treasurer, clerk, supervisor. Um, it appears that we have $50 per month stipend for the deputy while deputized. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't quite understand. Do we have any of the deputies that are not township employees? Yes. The clerk is now, the deputy clerk is now open. And how much do they get paid? Apparently $50 per month was added to their paycheck as a deputy. No, I'm talking about township um, deputies who are not township employees. Do we have any of those? We do not. All of our, we never have. All of our deputies are township other our township employees in Correct. their own right. Correct. For many, 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 many years. Yeah, that's what I thought. So what's this new? Our employee resigned as deputy. Our employee de a dot resigned as deputy. Doesn't want to be deputy anymore. Correct. Okay, so you're looking for one. Correct. Hmm. So this would be a base. So if it's an, if they're not a, a <laughs> well, we're going to appoint one then. <laughs> so, uh, so what you're saying is if they, if they're not a part of the bargaining unit members, it, it's saying what just that they still get paid. The, uh, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. Well, you're just paying the non ones, or is it you trying to get anybody who's a deputy gets extra money? Is that what this? Basically, yes. It's already covered, apparently, in the union contract. Mm -hmm. If an employee is a deputy, they get a $50 per month stipend. Okay. Which I was never so that's aware covered. Of right. But and this is going so to where it's not. we have someone that's not an employee as a deputy to the treasurer, supervisor, or clerk, 
We're just don't get paid. We're just suggesting that this okay. fifty dollars. I thought this was I thought this was something new. It, okay. it is. The treasurer, the supervisor, and the clerk um, have the right. Well, the treasurer and the clerk have the duty to appoint a deputy. They must appoint a deputy. The supervisor may appoint a deputy. Can I appoint this myself time, as deputy? As needy. No. There is no <laughs> compensation set for that deputy. However, if they are a union employee, they will get fifty dollars a month while deputized. So what you're there saying? Is no other compensation set for a deputy. Okay, this would cover those people who may get appointed as an deputy who are not township employees. Who are non-union. Correct. Or non-union. And correct. Okay. So if, you, if they're not an employee, they'll be non-union, but they get $50 a month still, or not? Correct. Okay. This just kind of sets up a base. This is only for union employees. So you have a deputy who happens to also be a union employee, only in the clerical unit. Only in the clerical unit. That, has our, that compensation has already been agreed upon by this board via collective bargaining agreement. How about if we decide to appoint uh, Travis as one of his de as a deputy? Now, he's not in the clerical union, is that? He would not have any set compensation unless you Unless you do company. this. Okay. It's just the clerical union, folks. Well, it's saying the township board must establish the compensation of all their officers, including deputies who are not township union employees. So. Uh, who are not? Township, township employees. No, not, not members of the union. Uh, union. That, that clerical be union. Not members of the clerical party. Yeah. Okay. So what are you asking for her? Yes. I guess, should anybody be appointed as a deputy? So I'm asking. Who are not a member. To just use this as union. a guideline to set up a $50 per month stipend or someone that the next person that I will ask to be appointed as deputy clerk. Yeah, so moved. During my term of office. I'll make that motion. Okay. Support. Pay someone fifty dollars a month to, for headaches. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's been moved and supported. Who's supported? Mr. Richley. I'm not sure what it is. It's been moved. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's money, so we got to call, call the roll. Okay. Roll call vote. Clerk can say yes. Trustee Bebo? Yes. Trustee Blackstone? Yes. Trustee Knopf? Yes. Trustee Richley? Yes. Supervisor Oscar? Yes. <laughs> Point members to Park Commission. Park Commission's recommended the following names be submitted and appointed to vacancies on the Park Commission. Um, is it okay to read these? And mm -hmm. Christina Heslop and Evelyn Tolls. Okay. I'll support. Mr. Blackstock supports. Any other comments? I, I just have a question. Yep. Is this, why is it coming to our board, not the Park Commission? Is that the way it's supposed to go? They've already recommended that they want to, but and all boards, come when the, if they're appointed, come here. Even if they're elected? Um, they're an they're elected. Different. These they're are being appointed, appointed for a vacancy. It's like somebody left before their term was up. Correct. But I mean, like, if some just as an example, like if somebody left our board, we'd vote to do that. What, mm -hmm. Why aren't they if voting? If the park commission members are elected, then they don't come here. But if they're appointed, like right now, to finish the rest of the term, but he's asking us. Oh, I got you. Okay, they, they, they but I, I just, I thought that the, 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 I thought the park commission would appoint. I, I don't know. So the way the laws read. Okay. Okay. I know. I asked the same question. So. Okay. Any other questions or comments? <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. No. Any other? Oh, no. No, clerk. Oh, sorry. All in favor say aye. 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 I was so used to that. Uh, master plan update proposal. We have a proposal from Adam Young at Way Trim to provide a to com complete the review and update for the five year master plan. Uh, we have uh, 15,000 in our budget this year, and we have did budget the additional 3,000 for next year. I think that's the numbers for this. Uh, we did attempt to uh, get some other proposals for some from some people, and we really didn't get a response. So uh, it's kind of hard to get someone to come in and yeah. So the planning commission 
is recommending that we yeah, approve this proposal from Madam Young. Yeah, the planning Commission has looked over this and this is what they uh, want to do, right? Um, honestly, no. This came we, from uh, we Wally. We haven't had a meeting in three months, so this is the first that I've seen of it. So this this came from Wally at uh, Planning Commission. Gotcha. Did you guys approve this at the Planning Commission? We haven't had a meeting in Planning Commission in three months. Oh. This is the first that we've received this, that I've received this. Wally may have gotten it. Yeah, so I think the question the Commission was has not met on this matter. That, um, there was a question whether the Planning Commission had the authorization to approve to fund that. Um, and they don't. They have the role to make it happen, but the board has to approve the funding. Mm -hmm. So if the, if the board just approves the Planning Commission to move ahead, with a proposal not to exceed, and if they choose to work with this planner, which they most likely will, um, can move forward. Okay. And approve, I mean, Makes if you sense. want to directly approve this proposal and, or recommend to the Planning Commission that you have approved the, the amount, and they can spend that funded and move forward with this planning proposal. So we're just approving the dollar amount to do it back to the Planning Commission it's for their a, approval. This is all enough to exceed. The Planning Commission has got to get control over. Make sense, everybody? So we're moving. We're, we're, the motion then is to approve 18000 for a five year master plan. Update. That the Planning Commission will direct and move forward. Support. For and yes, Mr. Knott. Not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So I'm that right? get all the facts straight here. Oh, well, she's running it out there. Is you want to put a not to exceed on that, and then that way they can adjust. They might want to go down. Yeah, okay. it's for 18000 Okay. Yeah. If you want to go up, they can come back and ask us for more money. Okay. We'll call a vote. Trustee Richley? Yes. Trustee Knott? Yes. 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 Announcements, anybody? I have a couple comments, if you don't mind. We've been, uh, we talked about the attorney again tonight, but we've, we've uh, tried to contact our attorney for some code stuff and some other stuff, and we have a, to put it bluntly, have a real poor response. Um, not very timely, waiting for weeks sometimes. And I don't know what the policy is about using attorneys here. Uh, if we have another attorney that is the same rates or within a rate structure, is the township manager allowed to, to use them? Or how do we address this? In the past, we've gotten we've solicited bids or proposals from individuals, and we usually take like the top three. and. Decide who we want to go with. Well, I, I, what I'm getting at is I don't really think it's something we should be locked into one particular attorney. If there's a couple different municipal attorneys out there, there's one that's good for collections, but there's another one that's good for litigation. Uh, you know, we can get proposals that way, but. We used to do it on an annual basis way back. What's that? We reviewed mm -hmm. the engineers, the attorneys, the auditors. Auditors. Well, that was my other question, too. But We did that. Annual. On a regular basis. The attorneys probably not so much. I don't remember the last time we looked. We had yeah. Zip for so many years. Yeah, I don't remember last time we discussed the attorney. Everybody else we've discussed. So, do we want to solicit proposals then, it's in order for the manager to be able to use different yes. people for it's certain time. things? We need to. I have to agree with the response that we now. So do you want to... You want to get a different township attorney? You want to get a bid for a township attorney? Yes. You want to get a bid for a whole bunch of townships. I think we should sure see... That's a good idea. Well, well, no, just uh, proposals. We can have a, a like a like a, a sure. list of approved people that we can use. We know the rates, I guess, depending on the, their specialties. You know, not you everybody's just put good a at everything. Get out and solicit yeah. proposals, and then they normally would come in and do a presentation. And some of these guys that have offices, they ha they have a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Different body might show up to right. do different things, but they all work in the same office. Mm -hmm. Same in the office is the one that gives us the proposal. Right? And typically, I would think you'd want municipal experience. Somebody that yeah, most most times that the, the, one of the attorneys in a particular office is a municipal attorney. Not most, not all of them are, but some of them may be. But 
Uh, that's that something that you know how to do, Sandy, that you can do for us? Go up with a list of proposals. We do a bid, advertisement. Just do an advertisement? Yeah, just an advertisement. Okay. Is everybody okay with that? We don't need to pass something. What are you going to advertise for? East China Township seeking proposals for Township Attorney. Legal representation. Representation for the year 2023. Okay, that's different than what he's talking about. Is that satisfactory? Any comments? <laughs> We're looking for general counsel. We have legal. <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah. So general counsel is what we're looking for. So a second stupid question of the night. Do we have a contract or no? No. No. Okay. There is no contract. There is a proposal. And they just use the same guy. I don't oh. have a contract with engineer yeah. either. Okay. I just didn't put him across the street. Okay. So we, do we need a motion or anything on any of this? Or just I would we like it in the record at some point, maybe tonight, that you were asking for me to do that, that direction. No, I'd, like, I'd like to do the township attorney and, and the auditor at least, um, if you want. I think the, okay. the clerk had the words there just a while ago. I, I, I second that. <laughs> okay. I'll make a motion. We solicit proposals for a township attorney, general counsel, and auditor and services. Ask our township manager to and direct our township that. manager to solicit proposals. Can we just do the one at a time. Let's, let's focus on the attorney. We might as well get them all at the same time. No. You supported that, Mr. Knotts? Yeah, like, uh, we don't need but one attorney, and if we come and you need another attorney, the township manager will come. Well, we can address it too. I need to get, to get, a get an attorney for a specific purpose, and the, we have a board meeting every two weeks. We can just say, do it. <laughs> we could get the yeah, master. Well, we have the finance attorneys that bond council and all those. I mean, we have them too already. So yeah. I mean. Yeah. Each like you community say, is different. They specialize. Um, some communities are have their attorney at every meeting. Um, yeah, they sit at the meetings. That, so I was unsure what direction or what the history was as to what you know. What Been moved and supported. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. Right. Got another one. Okay. I got two more. Um, Mr. Dan Casey from the EDA has been. Here quite a few times talking to Cindy and I about different things. Um, I guess I didn't realize this, but we're not a member of the EDA. And I don't know what people's feelings are about being a member of the EDA. I don't know what the cost is. Hmm? Uh, Economic Development Association. Is that right? That's St. Clair County. That's correct. Jeff Bloom, 26 miles. No, this, this is the Economic Development Alliance, yes. actually. Yes. That is That's right. With that associated right. alliance, but um, because he felt there was no yeah, all we were doing was giving the money, didn't get a thing for it. Yeah, yes, I remember that because mm -hmm. we're kind of like a veteran community. I think that's about or, where it stands mm -hmm. right now, yeah. as far as these China's because we don't we don't get anything out of this if we don't have us giving them the dues. I would not be in favor of, of paying the dues for it. What are the dues? Do I don't know. know. I don't really know how they do that. I just wanted to know if we wanted to. He's asked us if we join, and I don't know what the numbers are. But I remember I was a couple three hundred, but it wasn't really enough. I thought it was, it was way more than that. I think Probably it's I think it's more, than, it's that more than, that. than that. Yeah, uh, Jeff uh, needs money for twenty six months. <laughs> <laughs> I can find out. You could get a proposal yeah. or whatever yeah you can well i wanted to see what people thought of it that. first i mean i'm i'm okay with using my budget for it too because i didn't use anything for members to produce i can do that you know i would see how much it is first for the record i would not be able to yeah and the last one we've had some people donate park benches in the past mm -hmm. and they're really nice the the epoxy coated what ones you see along the and we got some wood ones that are dilapidated down in Marine City. I know they've been maintaining them. Blaine says they're still okay, but they're going to need to be replaced. But we get a lot of people requesting these benches along the bike path and everything else. And it's it definitely a benefit to the township. You know, I always see people sitting on them. Mm -hmm. um, I asked for a price for uh, the bench because some people wanted to do a memorial-type bench. The bench was, um, 
to say six hundred dollars, I think. Uh, but the freight was four hundred bucks for one bench. Um, and I think, and I, I should have brought the stuff with me, but I think that the installation of it was for the DPW was like eight hundred dollars or nine hundred dollars, something like that. But they're really expensive. yeah, they're Benches, expensive. Sinclair will tell you all about them. Been, that's a money making project. I'm saying yeah. benches. Well, I just think that twenty two hundred bucks for a bench as a memorial seems like a whole heck of a lot of money. And uh, if they want to pay it, though, that's a different. If people are doing up St. Clair. Then you, you walk down there. Got well, St. Clair. Are, those, I haven't checked those the are details. Those a couple of grand benches, yeah. and uh, I think that they may even make a buck on it. Uh, and but those are all paid for by whoever wants to put the bench. In. Well, I can check into that, but my thoughts on it would be if, if we had the customer or the person that wants to do it buy the benches and the freight to it and then have the DPW install when they had time to do it, that might be a gesture because it is a benefit to us. So I'm, right. it's, I'm throwing that out there that, you know, if we can maybe help a little bit because I was completely shocked that a bench was $2,200 <laughs> installed. Um, I don't know what's been done in the past. I really don't know. I just know. paid seven bucks for a darn Whopper sandwich. So I'm not twenty two hundred bucks for a bench. In the past, it's usually been done in the park. I know Cindy Bodo used to work with the people, and so we had like the same bench. These are the same benches. Like, yep. So they're like all the same uniform and kind of, you right. know, that was kind of my understanding of how it was handled in the past. The right. Yeah. So that's. The, these are outside the park they, if they want one on the path or something. Yeah. So, they, but it is the same exact bench, same company. But I don't know how they did the installation on over there. If they just paid to have it installed, or they charged them for it too. But this is the first time Blaine said he's been asked for a price, and I'm like, oh, I gotta figure it out. But my thought would be if they wanted to buy the bench, and afraid to get it, you know, maybe as you know, because they're buying a bench for East China Township for our facilities. Maybe we could install it at the DPW's leisure when they have time to do it in an afternoon or something. So, strictly up to you guys about what you're thinking about it. I just want comments. I think that's great. I think it's generous for people to want to right. contribute to the community. I would not be opposed to using the DBW to do the installation. Okay. And and the benches proposed by a resident for memorial purposes should be paid for by the, the bench itself. The FOB bench to the park or wherever it's going. Right. And and uh, and us absorb the labor for installing it. The uh, DPW right. putting it in. The, putting it in. Okay, I think, so. I think it's a great idea too. I think that they want to buy a bench that's that expensive. I think we should help them out by installing it. Mm -hmm. So right. can we just do that, or do we need a motion on it? Cindy, do we have to have that in a minute? Again, it would help to have something that we can. I'd like to make a motion that we pay for the installation of the benches. Why don't we? The tables has come up with a, what do you call it, a piece of an ordinance or a, a whatever, something that's be presented to the board that this is a, a program that the board supports. That sounds like what you're proposing is more of a program. Right. Yeah, it's a program. That's what, yeah, bench we program. Have, have, a, have it as an item, but we approve it with this bench program. Okay, we can put it in writing and bring it. Create a bench program. Yeah. Yep. And, and have all the little details of it so people know what they're getting into if, in fact, they want to. All right. Well, that's why I want to ask you guys first what Good. you thought of that. So we'll do that for the next meeting. All right. Also, you know, so right. I mean, happen. I've had a lot of people ask, but this. The location, Mr. Absolutely. Yep. Blaine, Blaine, and Blaine talked about that or, but <laughs> along the path, or if it's in the park, we'll talk to the parks. But that way there, it's the same bench every time, and we have a program for it. And right. You know, also usually if someone in Marine City down John, by those John ones that are bad, if they want to donate one, we can just replace that one. What's that? General description of the type of benches that are permitted. Oh, I have the company's so name and everything. Well, no, it wouldn't be the township would order and install the bench. Yeah. All the person would do would pay for Okay. Yeah, we have a company that we're using and we're going to continue to use. Yeah, that's true. Same exact bench. We want them all the same. Okay. Right. They're okay with that. You're okay with that. We'll write that up and I'll give you the information on the benches. But Good idea. I think that that's all I have. Anybody else have anything? 
If Happy not. Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. Thanksgiving, yes. If not, I'll make a motion to adjourn. A motion? Uh, Ms. Richley. I support. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thanks.